If you like this video, subscribe to me and add me as a friend. Hey, what's up, folks? I'm David Spates. If you don't know who I am now, you know another day, another motherfucking dollar. Folks, this ship right here is kind of crazy. Now, I don't know if any of you are afraid of alligators. I'm not. I'm a Florida boy, so I'm used to seeing alligators. Grew up around, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not, like, sticking my, my head in the alligator's mouth or jumping in a swimming hole where there's known to be alligators. I mean, nothing like that, but, you know, I'm used to seeing them. So when I'm fishing or canoeing, kayaking, whatever I'm doing, and I see alligators, I don't freak out. It's, it's, it's normal. It's natural for me. But this ship right here, this ship right here, uh-uh. like a motherfucking scene from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom or something. I mean, that's that's not that's not normal, is it? There's one of them. <laughs> I ain't never seen so many gators in my life. Oh, hell to the no, hell to the no! That's when it's time to turn around, folks. That's when it's time to turn around. There comes a point in time, folks, where you got to say, fudge this, put down the camera, turn around, and get the hell out of there. That's what you got to do sometimes. This is one of those times. This is what it looks like to be surrounded by about, yeah, 300 hungry alligators. A Florida man headed into a swamp to catch some fish, but clearly the alligators got there first. Now, Dave, Rich, this is where I would turn around, but no. <laughs> Ray Kaysen put down his rod, grabbed his camera, and caught the feeding frenzy on tape. A wildlife biologist says this kind of cooperative feeding in which the gators hunt together as a group only happens once Can every three or like four years. Oh I'm not even going to lie, folks. I'm a grown anus man. If I would have been there, I would have done four things. Number one, I would have peed on myself. Number two, uncontrollably crying. Number three, yelling out for my mama. And number four, I just would have laid down in the boat because I would have figured I was dead. Even the crocodile hunter, if he was still alive, wouldn't have wanted any part of that. He would have been like, crikey, let's get the hell out of here. So tell me the truth, folks, in the comments with the video response. If that was you, if you were on a little fishing trip and you ran into that, would you have been scared and would you have turned around? Because I... You already know my motherfucking answer. Hell to the yeah. I would have been scared. It would have turned around so quick. The camera would have fell out of the boat because I would have left that motherfucker right there. The only footage you would have got from me was some bubbles as that camera started sinking in the water. I'm David Space. Say what you got to say. Now get that camera on my face, sucker. Listen to me, whatever you do, don't move, he'll bite you in the penis.